Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to discuss about the important topic for anyone who is working in electronics circuit. That is called IR drop. If you ever notice your circuit not performing as expected, IR drop might be the issue. But don't worry, by the end of this video, you will get to know exactly how to minimize it and keep your circuit running smoothly. So what is IR drop? First thing, let's talk what is the IR drop. IR drop or a voltage drop happen due to the resistance in the conductors. When current flow through the conductor, the resistance causes a voltage drop along the path. This can lead insufficient voltage level at the critical point in your circuit. Impedance performance and reliability. Why IR drop is important? Why should we care about IR drop? Well, in high speed digital and analog system, even a small voltage drop can cause a significant issue. Component may not receive adaptive voltage leading to malfunction or degrading performance. In extremely cases, it can even co cause your whole circuit to be fail. So improving IR drop is a crucial for ensuring your circuit work and intent. So let's talk how can we improve the IR drop in our layout? I have a seven years of experience in analog and mixed signal layout design engineer. So based on my experience, I will tell you how can we improve the IR drop in our layout. If you have any question or any answer related to this, please do comment. So let's talk about how can we improve the IR drop. First thing is, in our as a layout design engineer, we should increase the metal width or we should avoid the jogs or bend in our layout. If your layout looks good, then definitely the performance will also be good. Second approach is put more number of wires. Yeah, of course, if you have a more number of wires instead of single wire, you should put a double wire or a square wire or a bar wire. So with that, we can improve IR drop. Third point is jump for higher metal. So as a layout design engineer, if you don't have any, any option by increase width, you cannot, if you cannot improve the IR drop, you have to jump for a higher metal because higher metal have a higher thickness. Then, so the higher thickness have a lesser resistance. So obviously IR drop will reduce. First thing is place power source to close to load. The shorter the distance between your power source and the load, the, power, the lower resistance and thus IR drop. Try to place voltage regulator and power source as close to component they are powering as possible. Next thing is optimize trace routing. Keep your power and grounding trace as short as possible and wide as possible. Wider trace have a lesser resistance which help in reducing the IR drop. So what it says it you have to design a, such a good power mesh power plan before starting layout you have to you know do a good PG route instance called power power and ground routing in the topmost layer. So this that will improve uh, IR drop that is the main thing for layout design. Another strategy is decoupling capacitors. Place decoupling capacitors close to your IC. This capacitors help to maintain the stable voltage level by providing a local reservoir of charge which can reduce the effect of IR drop. This is very important thing. We have to place decoupling capacitors in a like empty region. You know, decoupling capacitor will help in two things. First thing is improve the IR drop. And second thing is to maintain the density. If you have an empty space, tool will automatically fill that 
portion with dummy fill instead of that if you put the decoupling capacitor it would be help for to avoid the density mean density related issue and plus this air drop it will help us to improve the air drop so you have to fill empty area with decoupling capacitor another strategy is thermal management excessive heat can increase the resistance of your conductor ensure your pcb or layout include a proper thermal management technique such a heat sink thermal wires and adaptive ventilation in your layout so this this is the strategy so we can use in our layout to improve the air drop so if you have any question or if you have any comment related this how can we improve the air drop please do the comment in comment box and if you have a layout related any question just put in into comment we will discuss thank you for watching this video if you like please subscribe my channel thank you so much